The fact that a secret to a longer life might involve getting a little whale in you is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. The secret to living longer is something that humans have been searching for for as long as, well, we've been human and self-aware enough to know about our own mortality. And one of the things that often gets in the way of that long life is cancer. In fact, the only thing that kills more people than cancer is heart disease. While we've made incredible strides in cancer detection, prevention, and treatment, it's still humanity's second biggest killer, and even if you're lucky enough to survive it, you're in for a bad time fighting it. And even beating it can still leave you with lifelong complications and the fear of it always returning. However, not every animal shares this affliction. Some bats, tortoises, parrots, whales, and other species can live long, long lives with low rates of cancer. And the fact that that's true for some of those species is somewhat paradoxical. In fact, it has its own paradox. It's called Pedo's Paradox, or Pedo's Paradox. I don't know, P-E-T-O. See, statistically speaking, the smaller you are, the less susceptible you should be to cancer, and the bigger you are, the more susceptible you should be to cancer. Cancer, at its most basic form, is normally caused by strands of DNA that have been damaged and repaired improperly. This causes new cells to develop incorrectly, and sometimes those cells become cancerous. So the smaller you are, the fewer cells you have, the fewer strands of DNA. DNA you have that can get damaged and repaired incorrectly and cause cancer. The bigger you are, the more cells you have, the more strands of DNA you have, the more chances that will get damaged, repaired incorrectly and cause cancer. And then you couple that with animals that have a shorter lifespan, they have less time to damage DNA and get cancer. And the longer you live, the more likely you are to damage DNA and get cancer. But yet a mouse compared to us has a thousand times fewer cells and 30 times shorter lifespan and yet cancer rates that are about the same. Whereas elephants in the wild have a lifespan about the same as ours, it's actually markedly shorter in captivity, which is wild because usually animals in captivity live longer. But elephants live about 80 years in the wild and whales can live two to three times longer than people. And they obviously have way more cells and way more strands of DNA and yet markedly lower cancer rates. And so the question is why? Is their DNA somehow tougher and just doesn't get damaged as easily? Just thinking about the elephants, it seems like it almost have to be. UV rays damage DNA. That's why prolonged sun exposure and tanning is linked to skin cancer. And some elephants spend their entire life in the Serengeti sun and never get skin cancer. Well, it turns out no. Elephant and whale DNA is not any tougher than ours and is not less susceptible to the damaging, harmful effects of the environment than we are. The difference lies in how they fix their DNA. It turns out not all repairmen are created equal. See, when our DNA gets damaged and our body puts it back together, it oftentimes ends up looking like a 2004 Nissan Altima that's driven by a girl with a 350 credit score and has been repaired by her meth head boyfriend with stolen parts from the junkyard. Sure, it might be working for now, but at some point it's probably going to kill you. But that's not the case with these long-living animals that have low rates of cancer. Somehow, when they repair their DNA, the job doesn't end up looking like it was done by the most popular plastic surgeon at the Mar-a-Lago Christmas party. They actually meld it back together and repair it in near-perfect fashion. Because all DNA is is just the instruction manual on how cells need to put themselves together, their cells later on down the road can still read the instructions on that once damaged DNA. Where our damaged DNA ends up looking more like instructions that came in a package we ordered from Timu. Just right there in the middle of it, it's suddenly no longer English or any type of humanly identifiable sentence structure. And sometimes you get lucky and you can piece the puzzle together and sometimes you don't and it blows up in your face and kills you. It's dramatic, I know, but that's that's the analogy. But these new findings are huge for cancer research because in a lab, they were able to transfer the whale DNA repairman into human cells. And it was also able to repair our DNA without making it look like Laura Loomer. So this is a brand new discovery and just done with cells in a lab. So we've got a long ways to go from there to actual cancer treatments for people. But it has answered one of the mysteries on why we get cancer at higher rates when some other animals don't and giving us a path of study to potentially preventing it. And the fact that beating the the second biggest bane belaboring human beings could just be Bioshocking with a bowhead? Well, that is pretty mind-boggling.